Hey there, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to use the five star student system to log your students for academic prep. Uh, so you can Google five star students uh, if you don't have the link already. And when you click that link, uh, it's going to take you to this screen here, but you have to click sign in, which is located in the top right corner of the web page. You were probably given a login uh, and password. Uh, and if you've entered it before, it'll probably still be there. Um, but if not, type it in here and click sign in. When you get to this page, you're going to look for the event link. And it should at this point say one event. And when you click that, it's going to take you to a calendar. And that one event is going to be your AP study hall session. Uh, and so you want to find the, the date, the current date that you want to log students for. Uh, so I'm going to click August 31st. And I've had students log in today already, and so I have names uh, here in this list. But if uh, AP hadn't occurred yet, then this list would be empty. And we're going to come back to this list later because this it can actually be pretty helpful. Uh, but when you get here, you're going to want to click this blue check-in button. And that's going to take you to this page. And this is what you are going to want to leave set up on a Chromebook or a laptop uh, so that students can you know, very easily type in their student ID. And when they press enter, it will say their name and their ID. Of course, I entered a, just a random number, uh, and I get this error. But uh, it's really simple for students. They just enter an ID number, press enter, and they move on. And the cursor stays here for the next student to enter theirs uh, until you have all the students log in. At this point, once everyone is signed in, you can return to the event page by clicking the link. And you can do a quick count uh, of students in your class and compare that to the number down here where it says uh, number of attendees. Um, and the 1 through 10 it lists 10 per page, but it'll give you a total number of attendees for the date that it's listing for, which is today's date. Uh, if you want to look at more dates, you can actually click the View All Dates button and that will show you all of the data that you've collected in your uh, AP session so far. There's also the option to export uh, by clicking the button over here and that will let you select a date range and which fields you want to export and you have the option of three formats uh, and so if you want to say double check uh, how often a student attends your AP uh, exporting to Excel and a uh, formula or two later you can actually track how often students are attending AP to see if uh, you know that there's any correlation with how they're doing in your class. Uh, if you have any questions feel free to ask and I hope this works out for you.